Hey, so it's me getting used to my wig. It's nice and cool in here because I got the air conditioner on high, but it's kind of warm outside. I made a boo-boo and I noticed it doesn't show. Thank you. Um, I took a curling iron and tried to curl and then I realized that this is not heat friendly. Oh, so I managed to save it with a lot of conditioner and shaping cream. It was just one piece, but it like, I mean, this is plastic, okay? And it was very sad, very sad. But I think I fixed it so it's not sticking out. And Well, I mean, it's sticking out because that's the beachy waves. So you can't change this. This isn't at all like advertised, but it seems to be the one everybody liked the most except for the little gray one, um, which I really need to cut off all my hair in order to make this work because you can see um, my grays, you know, um, especially on the short one. It's just a real pain. I don't want to wear a cap. I wouldn't mind just wear. Right now I have nothing but just my hair down and I just shoved it on there, messed around with it, tried to heal that um, melted plastic. <laughs> melted plastic. I'm wearing plastic today. Okay. So, um, I need to make dinner, right? But what? I know I need salad. I have been so bad on the veggie scale. And oh, you know what? I have salad and I have cooked green beans sitting in the fridge. Well, I haven't made the salad yet, but I'm gonna. And salad to me is just chop up some lettuce, clean it, throw it in a bowl, and put some dressing on it. I don't get too fancy these days. I can't taste it. I don't see the point. I keep my cucumber on the side for like crunching and snacking instead of eating potato chips. It's been hard lately. I really want to bust out and buy chips and buy, today I did do a no-no. Um, I was with Maggie for her doctor's appointment and to pick up Finn while she was in her doctor's appointment from pre-K. I picked up Finn and it went well. It all went well. And we were hungry and she wanted to go to Sprouts for a sandwich and I was like, mmm, because I was thinking hamburger and fries. And she said, what about Blaze Pizza? Well, I'd never been and it's kind of silly because I can't really taste it, but what I go for is sensation, crunch, sauciness, vegetables, I, I feel it, you know. Somebody's calling me from Sarasota, go away! Um, so texture is really what I go for now. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, these are things I can detect. But I can't really taste it. So I try to keep as much texture in my food as possible. And for some reason, like my brain seems to remember, not taste, but experience, experiences. So that's what I go for. Pasta, you know, the way you can slurp it up into your mouth and it feels a particular way. Those are the things I have to go for because taste doesn't matter. I can put cloves, you know, heads of garlic and huge onions. And I can't taste it. Not a real point in doing it. Sometimes I do for texture. I like chopped up onions and some things. I like that feeling. The memory, you know. I can't imagine if I never had taste, that would be very freaky. At least I still have the memory of, oh, I remember it kind of tasted like, and you know, it's in your head. So I think I'm going to use some of that frozen shrimp. They're already pre-cooked. Um, I think I'm going to put them in the, a pan with some butter and olive oil and some garlic. Why the heck not? 
I have some ripe tomatoes. I'm probably going to cut one of those up and that's going to go in with my shrimp and butter and whatnot. And I'm going to make some pasta. And with that, I can microwave my green beans and I can have some salad to boot. So just using things that were already in my fridge, I noticed I went shopping on the 16th and I'm trying to add up to see when my next shopping date would be, how long it's been, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I am past the one week mark and I still have a good deal of food in the fridge. Um, also, I'm thinking of using some yellow split peas that are in the freezer. I've got a lot of brown rice in the freezer. That was my emergency supplies when we were going through hell after 2019 when we went into 2020 and, you know, the whole world exploded. But, um, so I made sure I had certain things set aside. Oh boy, did I have stuff. I mean, I was a doomsday prepper well before it was ever a TV show. We'll talk about that while I'm cooking, but right now I need to do some prep work.